good morning. Just kind of getting our ducks in a row here. Doing the tweet thing. So, how's everybody's morning going so far? On Wednesday again, I guess. Okay, uh, so today we are going to be converting my personal site over to the theme that we've been working on for the past past few weeks and uh, past few streams. <clears throat> right now this is on Bulma and Sass, and we will be switching over to Theme UI and our new themes. So let's go ahead and pull up, just pull up on GitHub the uh, Gatsby theme. Um, so we can kind of look at the documentation there. Um, I've updated a little bit, so it looks a little bit better than we had previously. Um, <clears throat> but if we follow along with our documentation, that should hopefully give us a good idea of how well we have covered things. And I guess as I'm going, I'll probably make notes on what needs to change. Let's just go ahead and open up. Um, we'll just toss stuff down on a notepad for right now. So as I'm saying things that need to be changed, uh, we probably need some sort of a uh, list of required uh, packages to install. So since I don't have that yet, um, <coughs> let's just go to our example and we'll grab a couple things out of there. Oop. I want the package.json. Okay, so for the most part, we're probably going to install all of this. Uh, we might actually have some of it, but uh, I think I think it'll be good to just install this all again straight away. So let's see how good my regex is. Um, so we want anything that begins with that to go away. We also want this and that. Um, now, there's a way to do multiple cursors, but I don't do it enough to know how to do it offhand, which is unfortunate. Um, nope. I guess we're just doing this the old-fashioned way. Um, oh, wait. Can I do... Nope. Worth a shot. Okay. 
I guess I'm just going to do it manually because I don't feel like looking up how to do uh, Z multi-cursor. Because the only ever time that I ever seem to use it is when I'm doing this. This will help me wake up a little bit too. <laughs> so I kind of expect that as we're going through, we're going to run into things that we wish we would have added. Um, and depending on how our time goes, uh, we might start adding some of that. I suspect for the most part it's just going to be we want to add additional tokens in our theme to deal with specific situations or allow particular customizations. Because um, <coughs> for right now we have a rather flat uh, expectation, I guess. Um, okay, so we can do that. And then let's find that and we will replace with a space let's just double check here to make sure that we got everything okay uh, so so far let's just go ahead and do a get pull I don't remember what my what state it's in. Okay, cool. Uh, looks like I had, I had started refactoring the theme UI and I think we're probably just gonna close that um, that branch off. <clears throat> we'll want a couple of these things still. Uh, one thing we'll need to, f I'll need to figure out or maybe it's something we'll figure out in the stream is uh, having multiple versions of patches that we use in some of our blog posts or articles. The D3 that I have used for a couple examples is on version four and they're on version five now. Uh, so that'll be an interesting thing to kind of figure out. Um, we definitely want to get rid of these. So let's go ahead and um, So these were the old themes that this whole new set of themes is sort of based on. And they were started quite a while ago. We don't need remark anymore. I think we're probably gonna get rid of the screenshot thing. Um, otherwise, everything else in there probably is sufficient for right now. Hey, Juice, how's it going? Perfect. Um. Morning, Ryan. I'm gonna get the East Coast coffee crowd, aren't I? <laughs> oh, uh, we don't need this. Probably don't need some of these remark ones, but I'll just leave them in there for now and we'll come back to it. Um, we'll get rid of the purge CSS. Um, the manifest we want to keep. 
sure I'll leave take my chain there. Okay, I think we're good. And let's just go ahead and update. Prettier in this whole thing as well. This will be fun. So let's see. East Coast, 7.30. Do y'all go into work at like 9 o'clock or something, I assume? That's sort of when our traffic starts to let up so I tend to go in a little bit later as well I don't like driving in traffic and we don't have any good public transportation so ooh I want to have commute that I would not enjoy <laughs> I think somebody there is working from home. Now as I'm watching this count up, I realize I didn't uh, make a branch for this, which is unfortunate. So I think we are just going to cheat. Definitely not edit these files. <clears throat> uh, what should we call this? Convert to theme UI themes. Cool. See you in a sec, Juice. Okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, nice. I thought it uh, would kill my stuff when I switched. Cool. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our config going a little bit before we Go ahead and run anything. <laughs> Some of this will probably be su sufficiently accurate already. Um, because some of this setup was actually based on how I was doing it. Um, so this articles folder is correct. That's part of our uh, um, convention that we expect <clears throat> Let's go to packages. Um, so our articles. So we expect uh, Gatsby theme articles, and it's pointing to the content path of articles. Um, that's also a default, but. Uh, for my own benefit, I'm just going to leave it in there. Um, <clears throat> we don't need remark anymore. Let's go ahead and take that out. I tend to group my source things towards the top. Um, and then transformers and afterwards anything else. We are not going to need the typography plugin since we will not be using that. Um, so I think we'll drop that here. <coughs> Move these 
is down. So I think according to our existing documentation so far, our articles are in the correct spot. The home page requires a landing and about an avatar uh, picture file. Um, and those are all in the home page folder, which I definitely do not have yet. Um, so let's go ahead and drop the home page in there. We're going to need a home page folder. Uh, new folder, home page. Uh, we're going to leave these here for the moment. Ooh, the nice collapsing. I kind of dig that. Um, let's delete that. Um, but these are the colors that I used previously. Uh, so we can go ahead and copy that into our theme UI uh, file to um, kind of bootstrap our theming. Uh, some of these files I can probably just move directly over. Uh, so our home page expects an about.dm mdx. So I can go ahead and move this over. Oh, hi cat. Come on. So some of this is, I've also left in the config or had in the config originally. Um, so it also expects a landing.mdx, which for me is actually this. Ooh. So let's go ahead and make a landing. And then I had effectively hard coded this in there, so we'll go ahead and drop that in there as well. <coughs> it's going to look kind of funny, but I do want, uh, since we're using Markdown, it's going to convert some of these tags in, or some of these uh, symbols and hashtags and such into actual HTML tags. So I'm going to make. Um, my name be the h1 tag essentially um, and I don't know if this is probably semantically correct but we will see how it turns out and come back to it so we've got a landing and about we need the picture And that's probably my assets folder. Yep. Uh, I'm not quite sure which one it is. Let's see if it'll tell us here. Avatar. <laughs> At least that was consistent. That's big. Let's close that. Okay, um, oh, and apparently I, I didn't even realize I had a homepage folder. Or did I accidentally drag that in there? I might have accidentally dragged that in there. Um, yeah, it looks like I did. We will actually need it in there. That's the next thing we're looking at. Okay, so we got the avatar in there. Um, Let's just keep it up for now. We'll come back to it. Because I want to make sure it just runs with these first MDX files. 
uh, remark is the um, if you're familiar with um, MDX Markdown was sort of the um, the, the non-dynamic version of MDX I guess you'd say um, and remark I believe for the most part came first um, so this was actually originally using remark and essentially what I would do was take the markdown and convert it into HTML. Um, let's see if I've got, where would that show up? Probably main folder. Where did I have my homepage? Components. <clears throat> well, this will serve it as an example. I don't know where I put my homepage, or the old one at least. Um, with Remark, it would it would convert it into HTML, uh, and then sort of the it didn't feel correct, but the the way that was typically recommended in React to get the Remark. HTML. Um, it was just a big text string. So you'd use the dangerously set in inner HTML from uh, React, and that would be how you get the remark um, string into your page. <clears throat> so originally it was this, and it would take a, a string of HTML, and uh, now, now we have something like I think I still have my. Yep. Now we use a component, um, and that takes what is effectively a function. Um, the MDX render it'll take a. The M MDX converts the markdown into some function calls that get end up end up getting run by the uh, MDX render component. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the about, we've got the landing, uh, we've got the avatar. And that's probably sufficient for the homepage for the time being. Um, it does expect an engagements folder, but if I did everything right, we don't actually need any of this, and it will still work. It'll just be empty. <clears throat> We do need to update our Gatsby source file system though to point to this new folder. Uh, so let's double check that we've got that. So we've got a pointing domain, assets, and articles. So let's just switch this one to home page since we aren't going to be using this main folder anymore. And we currently don't have a 404 page then wired up, so we might need to address that. But actually, let's leave the main, because uh, I tend to use that folder. Uh, we aren't going to have an assets folder anymore, though. So home page. Because I, I think I want to keep my main directory around to put a, at least the 404 page in it. We're not going to need recipe stuff anymore since that's coming in from a theme. And I actually just installed the uh, Grammar Me plugin, which you can see is actually helping me out a bit. I really dig that. So we'll resolve that in a minute. Okay. Let's get to something that we can run. Uh, homepage. I think articles should be set. And we don't actually need anything for layout. 
so we can probably get rid of a couple things in our site metadata and that's about it so we don't even need to we have added two of our plugins we don't need to add the third because it's just using it as a component library uh, we aren't using the experimental themes anymore so this can go away we've got some nav links on there um, contact links are not we actually do need those but they are not documented I believe so that would show up on the home page and we do not have the documented so let's write that down document use of site links okay and so we need the title description author contact title description author contact so we can get rid of this okay Let's do one more once over and make sure we have everything covered. We might need to add the or modify this depending on how the recipe things come through. But I don't have them in the config yet, so it shouldn't break anything. Uh, I suppose we can update our manifest file to point to home page avatar and we don't have the screenshot anywhere and we aren't using yaml so I'll take that out I think that's probably good so let's double check our Gatsby note we might just need to delete a bunch of stuff out of there um, <coughs> don't need to do this on create node anymore this was using this was to deal with the recipes uh, so the recipes theme that we haven't really talked about is started on this site actually and then I have since converted it over to a separate theme so we can strip all of the anything that refers to the recipes we can pretty much strip that out <coughs> We're not going to have a markdown remark anymore. So I think for the most part, the bulk of this is going to go away. Uh, we, we do make JavaScript pages still because I have a couple uh, articles that were written in a combination of JavaScript. So we might need to fix those but I think we still need that in there. We don't need the Airtable stuff because the only Airtable we use is for the recipes. Um, we could probably get rid of the redirects at this point. I would expect uh, SEO and Google and whatnot to have updated their stuff by this point. Um, <coughs> that uh, create redirect, um, you kind of need server to deal with that um, so that is actually something that integrates with Netlify and I've got the Netlify plugin here so it uh, works pretty well <coughs> we we still want to do this 404 maybe I'll just rename it to an MDX and I'll get rid of this for now and we'll probably have to manually create the 404 page off of that MDX file, but okay. I think our Gatsby node is probably sufficiently working. We I don't think we need those templates either, at least not in here. Uh, 
Okay. Um, we're not going to be using this as the index page anymore. Is that why? Yeah, I do not remember where I put my homepage. It must be coming completely from my... Uh, Oh, that's weird. That's why I didn't delete before. One delete deletes just one level of the folders. Um, the home page must have been com coming completely from my uh, plugin, or from my theme, rather. Okay. I presume some of these utils will need to go away, but I don't think that's going to prevent us from running. Let's double check our scripts to make sure that those are not up to, or not uh, out of date. So Gatsby did add a clean. So we can say, uh, we're gonna say Gatsby clean and Gatsby develop. Um, I'm actually using a laptop, so it's just a laptop keyboard. Um, I've got a Origin PC, I believe, OriginPC.com, uh, and it actually comes built in with like a mechanical keyboard, which I dig. I'm not too much of a keyboard snob, but I definitely prefer mechanical over non. Okay, I think that's probably good. Um, I guess this, I would qualify this as. Uh, so you might notice if you ever look at any of my Gatsby scripts that I have generally a command and then a hard version of that command which just does the clean for me. <coughs> and that is mostly because the Tough I, stuff I tend to work on in uh, Gatsby is more low level stuff that it's a lot easier to break the cache. Um, so that way I can at least just get rid of the cache issues straight away by running one command rather than having to do multiple commands. And it was also easier to do that uh, when there wasn't a Gatsby clean function. Can you uh, hear my keyboard on the stream? Is that why you're asking what it is? J. Lewis. Um. <coughs> Let's see how this runs. Well, wow, that's impressive. So Gatsby is not a command it recognizes. And apparently we've got the package. We did yarn. Well, there we go. The good old flipping of that ass. I'm sure that will happen more than once at some point. There we go. That looks a lot better. <laughs> so that'll take a minute to get going. So. I did just update uh, node, so that's why I'm getting that. With all the node vulnerabilities floating around. Okay. 
lots of errors, but not the worst. And we actually need to make this window slightly smaller so you can see it, but right above my head. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's make this bigger though, because we're probably gonna be sitting here cleaning up all the errors. I imagine we'll probably have to delete some stuff in here. Uh, we're not using typography anymore, so we can straight away delete that. Uh, we have templates in here that I know we're not going to need to use. Because the recipe template now comes from our theme. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that's a big list. Okay. So we're having some JavaScript front matter. Uh, so we deleted this recipe list just now. Um, we're getting a couple of things from our some articles, which is unfortunate. Um, the simple page that was strictly for MDX or for our markdown uh, remark, I guess, when I was originally working on this. Uh, we don't need that anymore because the only only markdown that we'll be using is in the articles, I believe. Um, some more recipe templates. Recipe, recipe. Okay, let's go ahead and run this again, clear out some of these errors that we've taken care of. Um, it looks like we are gonna have to look at some of these articles though. So, some of these I have done as Markdown. And actually, th well, we'll wait for it to finish running. But I, I will likely change these to MDX. They should both both theoretically work because um, the plugin will deal with them. But and actually, I bet you some of these errors are related to the fact that I. don't have MDX plugin added to the config. So let's go ahead and look up um, the theme UI documentation and double check to make sure what we need for that. Uh, so all we really need for this is the Gatsby plugin theme UI. I'm not quite sure how I want to organize this. I think I'm probably going to do this. And we'll do the theme stuff and then the transformers. I'll probably change my mind later, but... Uh, I believe we need the MDX plugin. Which it doesn't say anything about here. So we're gonna need to deal with this all JavaScript front matter error. That's coming from this transformer, which is actually something I wrote. 
back in the day, um, sort of before MDX was a thing. Uh, so those posts might actually just end up becoming MDX to save us some grief. So we're getting a couple of errors. Some of them are from the recipes. Some of them are from our articles. Recipe, recipe. Okay. So let's, because I believe this will be an easy fix. Um, it looks like we're missing a couple fields that we have since added to the recipes theme. Let's double check to see what we are missing. Uh, so I imagine this mapping is going to be the same. And we do want to do the separate map types. I'll get rid of some of those errors. I think what I'm going to do right now is just rename some of these files and we'll come back and fix the error. Maybe we'll just convert them to MDX. That's probably what I'll end up doing is just making them MDX. So the sole reason that I did these is JS files is for the most part this the bulk of this is actually D3 um, so this one specifically is it actually does this whole component right directly in there which you used to not be able to do with markdown but now with uh, MDX you can So it might be easiest just to convert those, but for right now we'll rename them to, so we can kind of just get things running. So we're still getting some MDX or some uh, errors with uh, that plugin. Um, this is a JS. This is a JS. Um, I think that might be it. <clears throat> okay, so it says that we're just dealing with unknown argument context on field site page. So this is expecting a site page that does the recipe home page. Um, so there might be an error there, which would be fun to deal with. Seems like it's all recipe template. Let's just take that out for right now. Theme, theme, oh. Well, part of our issue is that we don't have that theme listed in our themes. So what Gatsby is trying to do is resolve that, those GraphQL queries in there. And since nothing's actually using them, then things start breaking oddly. <coughs> those defaults are probably good. I'm going to just take out the comment though because I don't really need that in my personal site. Uh, 
See, now this looks like. Oh, I spoke too soon. Okay. <clears throat> so we still have a JS blog post that's giving us issues. Here. So this was my original component that drove the professional engagement section, which is now done all through Markdown. So I'll just put that into Markdown. We don't need recipe list anymore, which is probably part of our issue. I remember seeing that, yep. Uh, and we also don't need, if we're gonna convert, convert everything to Mark, down. We don't need this either. Yep. <clears throat> so that's running. Let's go ahead and open up another command line and just uh, commit a couple of these things. For the most part, it's just deleting things. Delete, delete. That was deleted. That was actually moved. So we still have some all JavaScript front matter. 